A new watchdog report says the IRS issued $5.6 billion in bogus education tax credits. That's billion with a B. And this did not happen over a long period of time. This money was refunded in one single year. Congresswoman Marshall Blackburn joins us. Good evening, Congresswoman. And I have to tell you, I am, I am so outraged on behalf of the American people, and I'm so sick of this. I mean, what in the world is going on? This is the President Obama program. He apparently doesn't give a damn. He's looked the other way. You've got the, the Congress, which is supposed to be responsible to oversee this. They're not doing any, anything about it. And you've got the IRS spending, doing this, giving this money away. That's exactly right. And then they turn around and blame Congress and say, well, you've cut our budget by $1.2 billion and we have 16,000 fewer employees, so it's your fault. Well, we look at the IRS and say, no, it's your fault. Here's what I think we ought to do about this, Greta. We have a necessary component of our government. First thing we're supposed to do, provide for the common defense. So I think we should take all of these inspector general reports for all of these agencies, including the IRS, and charge them back with the money that we find out that they have spent erroneously in some shape or form and give that money to the U.S. military. And yeah, I, that's... I, a, don't, I don't know if that's the solution... But, you know, it's like I'm so I, frankly, I've been doing this job long enough that, you know, I, I think that I, the American people share the same outrage is that, yeah, it's like it's, it's your job. And I appreciate you showing up, but it's your job. It's President Obama's job. It's Commissioner Koskinen's job. It's everybody's job. And the American people, they did their job. They paid. And then you guys are just yes. stealing their money and you act like it's like it's somebody else's fault. Well, and the thing is, it is Congress's responsibility, and that's why I think we need to charge these agencies back with these mistakes that they're making. The IRS has proven that they cannot tend to the budget and to the functioning of the IRS. This is 3.8 million people that got this credit in one year. Some of them never filed the information that was necessary that they were even going to the school, and some went to schools that didn't qualify for the credit. It, so the thing to do is to say, we're going to cut your budget another $5.6 billion. I guess I, I guess I would be more draconian about it. You know, I change the civil service laws, you know, and I tell Commissioner Koskinen, you've been in there since December in 2013, you know, enough, out, go. I would start firing people as well because you know what? It's just, yeah. it's just not fair to the American people. And I, and I appreciate you're I sort agree. of trying to, you're trying to create a solution and it might be sort of clever, but you know what? I think the American people are sort of really were at the point where sort of off with their heads, you know, is that nobody, you know, nobody in private enterprise would keep a job who handles it this way, whether it's That's the President exactly of the United right. States, Congress, or the Commissioner, or the people at the IRS. That's right. And that's why some of us are fighting back against having federal employee unions, because it makes it very difficult. The civil service laws make it very difficult. We understand why they are there. But it also makes it very difficult to get rid of some of these employees that are not doing their job. So therefore, one of the ways that Congress does have that they can hold an agency accountable is to do what we have done, which is eliminating positions so that they're no longer on the books and cutting the budget, actually going through the funding process, which is what we've done with the IRS. See, their budget's about $11 billion. We think cut them, begin to cut them, and make them be held accountable for this spending. It gives them less for hiring people. It I, gives them less for I, retaining people. I, I only wish that I had any expectation that that would work, but uh, I'm going to take the last word on that. Congresswoman, thank you very much for appearing, because obviously you're getting my wrath tonight. So thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thanks, Greta. And talk about...